Sportswire video. A big moon rose over the rock as a Daresville came to town for a big region matchup. Check out highlights from the game after a word from this Polk Sportswire sponsor, Floyd Medical Center. At Floyd, patient safety is a priority. In fact, it's a daily commitment. A commitment that wherever you see a Floyd logo, you know you'll receive respectful, compassionate care that is centered on your safety and wellness. It's a personal commitment to protect your health, and we stand ever ready to deliver quality care and peace of mind. You deserve to feel safe and secure, and our entire team is here to make sure that you do. To learn more about our commitment to provide enhanced safety and care you can trust, visit floyd.org safe. Thanks again to Floyd Medical Center for helping make this Polk Sports Wire highlight reel possible. Youth players ran through the banner and cheered on the Jackets as they took the field for another region matchup on October 22nd against a tough Adairsville squad out looking for revenge after the Jackets dominated them in 2020 on their home turf. Rockmart, even with a long night on the field trying to hold off the Tigers' passing game and quite a number of penalty flags, held tough, and here's the highlights to prove it. Starting out the night, take a look at this opening touchdown by the Jackets to set the tone early. Fourth and one at the Adairsville eight in the first quarter. Jackets drive down the field and go for it. And it was worth it. J.D. Davis connects with Dennis Sims for the first score of the night. P.A.T. good. Jackets up early, seven to nothing. Okay, I'll give the Tiger fans out there something to smile about. The Jackets special teams got themselves into a hole on this play. Kickoff after the Jackets go up 21-7 in the second quarter, and Adairsville's Chris Roper is off to the races for a huge kickoff return to set up a touchdown from Eli Agnew two plays later. This was one of a couple of big return plays for the Tiger on the night. Agnew's score would get the Tigers within seven in the second quarter, but Rockmar would respond. Back to the home team. I'll admit I wish I had a better JoJo Haynes play in mind than this one, but I didn't have the camera angle for it, so we'll go with a touchdown instead. First and goal from the five after the Jackets drive it down the field, and Haynes goes into the end zone to put Rockmart up by two touchdowns in the second quarter. Check out Cam Ferguson on this touchdown run. He put up big yards on the night for the Jackets, but I got a little tied up with coaches and players celebrating during his run and didn't quite catch the end of his 71-yard sprint down the field. Sorry, Cam, for not having a better angle. Some folks got in the way of a clean shot for this one. Jackets up 42-20 to after his score. It might have gotten closer than the Jackets would have liked as Adairsville scored in the fourth quarter two more times, but on this special teams play, it was exactly what Rockmart needed. Adairsville going for two, trying to catch up on the scoreboard, saw the play busted up, and quarterback Jonathan Gooch gets swarmed by a pair of Jackets to end the attempt. Big play for special teams. Jackets fans who have watched Jose Alegria booted through the uprights without a problem all year want this one back. Jackets on fourth down at the Adairsville 9 in the third quarter elect to go for the field goal and a few extra points on the board. But Adairsville gets a little tip as Alegria gets the kickoff and he misses from 19 yards out. Rockmart remained up 35-20. The Tigers' passing attack might have gotten the better of the Jackets' defense, but Rockmart had some game of their own. Check out this big sack from Terry and Webb, keeping Adairsville from picking up the easy first down as QB Jonathan Gooch looked to scramble on the second and three. Check out J.D. Davis on a second quarter scramble here for a touchdown play. Jackets ball, fourth and two, and the Rockmart QB finds himself space to run in for a 30-yard touchdown to put Rockmart up 21-7 early in the second. You like passing plays? So do I, especially for touchdowns. J.D. Davis, late second quarter, connects with Keyshawn McCulloch for a pass that he carried for 52 yards downfield for a big score. Jackets, who had problems with penalties all night, got an unsportsmanlike flag for this TD. Jackets take it to the locker room after an unsuccessful Darius will drive 35-20 at half. Here we are, top play of the game. This week goes to J.D. Davis and Dennis Sims. First quarter, Jackets driving with just over four minutes left. And Davis connects with Sims, who grabs the pass and goes 63 yards for the touchdown play. Davis would end his night with three passing touchdowns and one rushing touchdown against the Tigers. All of those scored in the first half alone. My camera and phone died with more than six minutes left on the clock in this one, so you missed out on a couple more scores, including one from Nazir Turner in this game that could have been highlight candidates on either side, but Jackets win 49-33 with the final buzzer to finish off another region foe and remain perfect in Sips Triple A. 
That extends their win streak to seven in a row and puts them at seven and one on the year. Their only loss thus far coming at the start of the year against Rome. Quick recap of where the region stands for Rockmar. Ringgold and Rockmar hold the first place spots. The Jackets technically in second, but both are tied in region play at 6-0 on the year. And Daresville and North Murray are tied in third and fourth places technically at 4-2. Lafayette sits in fifth at 3-2. The sixth place Phoenix at 2-3. Two and three. and Colhull Creek is at 2-5 and five in region play at 7th. Taking up the last two spots are LFO and Murray County. Both teams remain without a region win so far this season. Both the Warriors and the Indians will have at least one more chance this coming Friday to get a region win against one another. Check back next weekend for highlights from Rockmar at Lafayette with the Jackets on the road one more time and then tune in for at least one more round of Fans Decide coming up on Halloween to determine where I'll end the regular season. I'm Kevin the Editor and thanks for tuning into this Polk Sports Wire video. Check out free local sports content at polksportswire.com. Help the channel grow by giving this video a like. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are added to the channel. Find ways to support Polk Sports Wire in the description along with links to our Facebook and Twitter.